and I look forward to this consensus continuing. Madam Chair, it's um, Tēnā Koutou. Madam Speaker, my apologies. Uh, Tēnā Koutou katoa. It's easy to forget while we're here, Madam Speaker. Um, and it is nice to hear the unanimity in this House for the support of this bill. Uh, because what happened in New Zealand was a whole lot of unsuspecting Kiwis, mum and dad investors, as I refer to them, Mr O'Connor, um, they got ripped off. And $9 billion was lost in the sector uh, during the GFC. So this uh, side of the House, when it was in government, decided to do something about it. And I congratulate uh, the current government and the Honourable Chris Farfoy for bringing this material back to the House uh, for debate and consideration. And there's been a lot of very positive contributions uh, this evening. And I think it was also reflected in the Select Committee, which I'm um, lucky enough to have joined recently, where we have 74 submitters spoke to the Select Committee. And Melissa Lee was absolutely accurate. We got an in-depth picture of what had been done, um, what was being recommended, and actually for the main, where we end up now, we've got pretty much agreement across both sides of the Select Committee as to what needs to happen. There are some new technologies out there which we need to protect New Zealanders from. We shouldn't be scared of them, but robo-advice um, and things like that are going to happen more and more. And I remind members of this House, even today the purchase of life insurance, health insurance, contents insurance, the amount of that that's now done online without the intervention of a single human being is actually a, a thing for the future, I believe. So in those sort of industries and for further <coughs> financial advice, we need to make sure there are appropriate rules and regulations in place. I specifically come to clauses in the bill which I think are very important, Madam Speaker. One is in clause 27 and new section 43J uh, IJ2, which is talking about the duty to give priority to clients' interests. And we know how advice has often operated in New Zealand, whether it's financial advice or other financial products. And I acknowledge what Michael Wood said previously about work that's coming to the Finance and Expenditure Select Committee. But there is, a, there is an area of risk in this space, and that is where a financial advisor seeks income and gains in fun, income from some financial products and not others, and seeks, seeks to use those products in the advice. But this bill says that actually the client's is the first interest, and their best interest should be at heart. And I think um, we, <coughs> as the Select Committee, understood that and support that. One that still has some work, and I'll be interested when this comes back to this uh, committee stage, is around nominated representatives. Because what we need to be very careful of is as financial advisors come in and out of institutions, where is the liability for that advice several years into the future? And what we're basically saying and what this bill says is that the, uh, there is an onus on the parent body of financial advisors in an organisation uh, to take overall responsibility for that and for the advice of people that are working within that institutional organisation. The intent of the bill is that financial advisors should be ultimately be responsible for their conduct and of their nominated representatives. Madam Speaker, we also looked at this whole question of lawyers and accountants. And there are lawyers and accountants in this House. And we actually believed that it was if they were giving the advice as an ancillary to their core function, they should not be regulated, Madam Speaker. And I support that provision, and I think we will get to that point. I think, though, it does become clear, and it will have to be worked on when we get to the committee stage, how the regulations, how the rules, and when the Minister is in front of this House, how some of the more detail of this um, will, will work out. Madam Speaker, the misuse of financial products and the advice has cost a lot of New Zealanders a lot of money. Uh, and in many other sectors, uh, it's happened as well. Various things have gone wrong. It is the role of this parliament and the people that are sitting here tonight and for future readings 
to make sure that we protect those people. And I'm happy to commend this bill to the House. Uh, ka Dr Duncan Webb. Thank you, Madam Speaker. Um, I really just want to talk about one thing tonight.